Good day. And uh, this time, um, meron na lang po tayong uh, problem. No? Okay. So, we have uh, four unknowns. Okay. So, which we are going to determine the tensile forces in the cables BA, BC, CD, and CE. Okay. Assuming that we have a, uh, this is 100 kilonewton. Okay. Assuming that we have 100 kilonewton uh, weight. Okay. So, this time we are going to isolate point B and point C. Okay. So, we are going to isolate point A and point C to determine the forces. Okay. So, this is the FBD di the free body diagram of point B, which uh, we have uh, cables AB, CB, and the weight. Okay. But the direction okay, of AB and CB are uh, only assumed. Okay. So, in assume lang natin na dyan ang direction niya. Okay, it can be, pwede siyang tama, pwede siyang mali. Okay? The same with uh, point uh, C. Okay. So, okay. So, first, we're going to solve for uh, A, B, and C, B. Okay? At point B. Okay? So, makikita natin na ang only given na uh, force is the ano lang the 100 kilonewton so ang unknown we have cb and ab okay so uh, equation na gag gagamitin natin we have summation forces at x along x axis is equal to 0 positive at the dire uh, at the right direction okay so Kung along x tayo, so si w is wala. Zero siya. Kasi wala siyang vertical axis. I mean, wala siyang horizontal axis. So, no, only vertical axis siya. So, we, ha we are only considering a, b, and b, uh, c, b. Okay? So, we have zero is equal to a, b, positive, kasi papuntang right, no? And negative c, b, uh, times cosine of 30. Okay? So, again, uh, cosine ang ginagamit natin or gagamitin kasi uh, adjacent to, ang angle is, is adjacent to the axis. Okay? So, negative kasi going siya sa left direction. Okay? So, and then AB is equal to 0.866 of CB. So, ang cosine 30 degrees is 0.866. Okay? And then, next is along y. So, so we have summation forces at y uh, is equal to 0, positive going up, uh, upwards. Okay? So, 0 is equal to negative CB. Okay? So, negative CB kasi going down. Okay? Kung mapapansin ninyo, um, kung babasihan natin ang uh, vertical axis, we have two forces lang. Hindi kasali si AB kasi horizontal siya. Okay? So, negative uh, CB kasi going down times ang angle na gagamitin natin is uh, sine of 30 degrees. Bakit sine? Kasi ang, ang uh, angle is opposite, no? Opposite to the axis. Okay? Minus 100 kilonewton. So, 100 kilonewton siya. Going down. Okay? Kasi going down, negative siya. Okay, so we have, i-transpose natin, no? Uh, papunta sa kabila, we have 0.5 CB. This is, is, is equal to negative 100. So, negative 100 divided by 0.5. So, that is negative 200. Okay. So, nagiging negative siya. Kasi, ang ina-assume natin na direction ng uh, CB is mali. Okay? As ina-assume natin. So, ibig sabihin, Ang direction pala ni CB is dapat nasa going upward, not, not going downward. Okay? So, para magiging positive siya. Okay? So, we have CB is equal to uh, 200 kilonewton in upward direction. Okay? So, we have our CB. So, 
next is we are going to uh, we are going to to substitute no C B to A B uh, to, to equation one. So this is our equation one, equation two. So magiging A B minus C B uh, cosine of thirty degrees. So ano lang no? So C B times cosine of thirty okay so I mean ang cosine of thirty is ito namang ano no uh, point eight six six so direct na lang tayo sa ano sa C B na negative two hundred so A B is equal to negative one hundred seventy three point two kilonewton okay so this time again uh, negative siya so ibig sabihin itong inasim nating direction ni A B na going right is mali okay so dapat pala si AB is going left ayun okay so AB is we have 173.2 kN so meron natin AB at saka AC yun so next is we are going to isolate at point C okay so si point C okay so we have may note tayo na in the FBD above the direction of the force CB sa tension has been changed to reflect its correct direction. Okay? Yan. So, equation again, uh, summation forces at Y is equal to 0, positive upward. Okay? So, considering, uh, iko consider natin dito is si CB at si kasi CE. Okay? Kasi si CD is wala siyang vertical axis. Okay? So, ano lang siya? Uh, horizontal. So, we have 0 is equal to 4 fifth kasi uh, 4 vertical unahin natin yung ano, axis niya at saka yung uh, distance no? na 5 okay? 4 fifth uh, bakit naging 5 Pythagorean theorem okay? so we have uh, c squared is, is equal to square root of a plus b no? so yan ok so 4 fifth is equal to uh, times ce ok minus 200 okay times sine of 30 again bakit sine kasi opposite ang angle okay sine of 30 and that is equal to uh, 125 kilonewton okay so uh, baka uh, magtataka kayo kung bakit naging 125 kasi kaya una i-transpose natin yung uh, 200 kilonewton so magiging positive siya okay and then over uh, pwede nyo na itong yan, ano, i-manipulate five, uh, 4 divided by 0.5 so over uh, the answer of, sa kabila naman over 5 uh, 4 over 5 so magiging 125 kN okay so we have now our CE okay so next we have our summation forces at X is equal to 0 positive in ang direction naman is going right so 0 is equal to CD so, meron tayong CD. So, this time, uh, si CB mayroon siyang ano, ha, um, horizontal uh, axis no, or component. Okay. So, si, at saka si CE. Okay. So, si CD positive kasi going right. Minus 200 uh, cosine of 30. Okay. Si, si, ano, si, si CB. Okay. Minus kasi going left. Minus 3 fifth. No. Bakit naging 3 fifth? Kasi horizontal. Unahin na ito yung 3. Horizontal. And then yung distance niya. Over 5 times 125. Since si CE natin is 125. So we see this. We have 248 kN. Okay? So we have now our uh, cables. Uh, AC we have 173.2 kN. Si BC, we have 200 kilonewton. Si CD, we have 248 kilonewton. And si CE, we have 125 kilonewton. Okay? So, dyan po nagtatapos ang aking uh, discussion or lecture. So, at sana ay may natutunan kayo. Maraming salamat and God bless.